Hello, this is episode 9 of Repton 2 Memories from Repton's Journeys. And going to do level 14 again, the rest of it. This is the main part now, which is the, copied from a level in Repton 3, one which I remember reasonably well. It's quite a good, complex level. So the first task is to get that spirit you just saw quickly below to get it to the cage there, that cage but I'm not going to go in there yet I'm going to set up some other stuff first and most of the spirits are in this area on the right so I've re uh, released one that diamond and you notice it went through the key so it turns out spirits can go through keys which I don't think I knew that before but before letting any out I'll go and uh, unblock another cage in here for one of them So go back up here, get that teleporter now, get it out of the way. You come in here, and these are quite easy to deal with when you know how. Then I have to pile up the rocks on the right as much as possible, but that one has a nice little step it can sit on. And the spirit lets us out once we've cleared the uh, rocks. Now you can free up the route to that cage. Now you can't get that yet because I'd be teleporting to that empty space later. So if I'd got the diamond, that would be fatal. Now to let the spirits out of this area. They tend to end up in different areas depending on the timing of where they were at the moment you get the key. Um, that was one of the easier scenarios. And with this last one here that's on, on its own, I'll follow it fairly closely and go into this section and then wait for it to get this cage that I've just uh, freed up. I think in the original Repton 3 level there was some fungus in the that sort of, uh, what do you, would you call it, a lobby or porch area to this section. So it's quite time sensitive. And there's a bit of a trap in there, but didn't fall for it. Now we still, still need another spirit to get this cage and um, I'll clear out the rest of this area first. Maybe be more efficient to go and get the, uh, let the other spirit out first. You have to just be a little bit careful not to block your way in with rocks on the way out. Obviously I can't go back out that way so I have to be a bit careful with the rocks in here. So that's the spirit I want to get that last cage that I mentioned. And you have to get this rock well out of the way so that when I drop this one I can push it left as well so it won't fall and block me in. So 
So, yeah, it really wouldn't have been any more efficient to do the spirit before the uh, bottom right area. Because it doesn't take it at all long to get there to its cage. So this teleports into that, and that comes out there, under that diamond that I mentioned earlier. Okay, back to level one. We'll go and save, ready for the uh, penultimate teleporter. And I, can't, I don't think I can actually get the last teleporter until I've done, can't access it because it's blocked by skulls. <laughs> 